All right. So what what you're seeing in America is this, well, they see what's going on overseas, particularly in Europe and other places, I guess, where COVID has been a, 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 they've tried and tested some very egregious things, just evil, bad things regarding passports and forced vaccinations, essentially, and all of that. Um, now, New York City kind of was the first to, you know, try to pop off the passport thing as well, um, you know, apply and get to certain entities, not all of them, but certain entities. Well, here we go again, and uh, now these guys are, he, you know, DeBozo here is saying that, oh, it's going to apply across the board. And I think it's important to understand why he's doing this. And the reason why he's doing this is because nothing fucking happened to him the first time. That's why he's doing it. It's not a difficult thing to understand. Nothing fucking happened. So he's doing it more. Um, this is really how it's working around the world, um, how it's working in America. Your government does not fear you at all. Um, and all, if you've shown them, and this is why you're not going to comply your way out of it. All these people who think, oh, well, I'll just get the jab. I'll just do this. And uh, the can of get kicked you know, down the road a little bit, but we'll get there. You're not going to ever see the end of this because you're not showing them that you want it to end. OK, uh, so this is why it keeps going. The only way this ends is when people decide that it's no more. Uh, if you live in New York City, you're probably surrounded by a bunch of fucking people that aren't your allies and uh, doing the work, the bidding work of, the, say, the uh, the government. They've been actually being the ones to be in the enforcement wing. Um, in some cases, this is how they've been able to pull this off is use uh, businesses as the enforcement wing of the state. So you threaten the business, and then the business threatens you because they're threatened by the state. It's actually kind of genius when you think about it like that. It's almost as if Gina Carano was correct. But let's listen to what DeBozo had to say about this um, regarding uh, the, the, the new mandates, if you will, that he's going to be uh, sort of implementing here. Let's uh, let's take a listen. We've got Omicron as a new factor. We've got the colder weather, which is going to really create additional. And by the way, as of me shooting this video, all of the cases of the Omicron have been been a uh, mild. It's actually similar uh, to what we've seen with other and what you should be seeing anyway. In the event that it does sort of uh, mutate, it usually gets weaker anyway. Um, but hey, Boogeyman Omicron, the Transformer fucking variant. And there it sounds scary, ah, Boogeyman, it's a new thing. So, it, of course, this is why the the most of the news set websites and platforms never really told you what, what this meant. It was just, oh, Omicron, Omicron, new, new my variant, new my variant. It, it, they never explained, really, and this is what that doctor that we covered on here was saying. Well, we're seeing the world's reaction to this is fucking stupid because all of the cases are mild. There's no reason for this. Challenges with the Delta variant. We've got holiday gatherings. We in New York City have decided to use a preemptive strike. And, and, really and it's funny how it's like he says we like, uh, OK, I am in, and by I, I'm talking about him. He is the supreme ruler and is able to use some sort of executive action, executive order in the name of health and science and shit to do something. And he's saying, we like, he like, Hey, look at us in New York city. Like as and all of us have agreed that we're, this is what we're going to do. No, nigga, you did that. What you talking about? It's quit being a chicken. This is what I don't like about authoritarians, man. Stop being chicken shit, man. Like just, just flat out say it, man. Be 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 real about yours. We you you a piece of shit. You know it. We all know it. But stop trying to act like, you know, this is something that you're doing with the consent of everybody that you're ruling over. Come on, bro. First of all, it's impossible. But come on, who fuck you kidding me? They do something bold to stop the further growth of COVID and the dangers it's causing to all of us. So. As of today, we're going to announce a first in the nation measure. Our health commissioner will announce a vaccine mandate for private sector employers across the board. All private sector employers in New York City will be covered by this vaccine mandate as of December 27th. 
We're going to have some other measures as well to really focus on maximizing vaccination quickly so we can get ahead of Omicron and all mm -hmm. the other challenges we're facing right now with COVID. We've got Omicron as a new factor. All right, we let me, let me, like, the guy's on a fucking power trip, bro. He's on a power trip. He's on a power trip, and he's getting off on this. And you know why there are, you know, among your, like, you know, citizenry that aren't necessarily government officials, you know why they push for this so much? Because they think it put, it punishes their political enemies. This is why, though it's retarded, yeah, because Trump was, actually Trump set the scene for all of this shit with Operation Warp Speed. But for some reason, these crackhead ass motherfuckers somehow think that, oh, well, it's just a MAGA hat wearing uh, Trump supporters that are the unvaccinated. They've convinced themselves that that's the case. So they think that it punishes their political enemies, which is stupid, but they think that it punishes their political enemies. And they're on a power trip, like I said. You've shown them, and the people in New York City have shown them there's going to be virtually no consequence to them doing that. Like I say, I say all the time, man, yo, 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 blood founders went to war for a lot less than what the government's doing for you right now. Right? Now, this is my approach, and I talked about this on News of Why It Matters when we talked about this very subject matter. I said, hey, I'm thinking about it more like this. You know, when we see something like New York City happening, my mind and my heart feels for people that are that have some sense of a brain that live in those areas. I feel for you. But on the other side, I'm looking at it like this. It's those people. It's the same people. Yeah, they, they may be governing over that area. But it's, these are the same people that have some sort of influence in regards to the federal government. So this is my question. Oh, well, it's actually not a question at all. It's, a, it's like, it's rhetorical if it is one. Let's say that. It's a rhetorical question. Why the fuck would I want to share governments with these people? There's an area in this country where they are implementing, a, basically you're forced to have a vaccine if you want to exist in the real, in, in any sort of, world in that area let's say that a part of the world and uh, be just a relatively normal person it's going to require you to get a jab okay why would i want to share a government with people that are that fucking deranged why would i want to do that that's why decentralization is so important right now look at it from that through that lens i can sit up here and say damn that sucks new york city fucking it doesn't imp and then you think oh it doesn't impact you yeah it does it does impact you you share a government with them. Now, yeah, uh, you may, like in my case, be in Texas, you know what I mean? And these guys are guys in the city of New York. And I get that. And it's different. But in the same respects, they, I still share a government with them. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? I don't want to do that. I'm not interested. These people are terrible people. And they've shown that they have every intention and the government being involved in every aspect of your fucking life, including viruses with a 99% survival rate. I feel for you people out there in New York City. There's a lot of folks out there that have fought a good fight. But at this point, I think it's gotten so bad to where maybe staying there is a detriment to yourself. And I never knock anybody for fight. I never do that. I wouldn't never do that. Fight. I mean, I guess that could be admirable. But at this point, I think you're going to be far more useful to the fight for liberty and relocating and getting closer to your allies. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.